Welcome back, everyone. Bob Pompiani with you until 11 o'clock. It's 412-575-2600 on Twitter. You can hit me up at KD Pomp. Let's go to Kathy. And Katanning, Kathy, what's on your mind tonight? Um, well, I was, it bothered me during the pre preseason when Roethlisberger hardly played at all. Mm -hmm. And it was like, what, do they think he's that good that he doesn't have to no, play No, the the they don't want him to get injured. But the problem well, with that is Brady you, was playing halves. I, I mean, know. you had some of the best quarterbacks in the NFL playing whole halves of games. Like, they were getting ready for the season, and he didn't. And Brady had three and, touchdown passes early in the game today, and uh, they won. Okay, well, how about the Antonio Brown screw-up? Do you think maybe if they had practiced that a few times during the preseason, yeah. maybe that wouldn't happen? Listen, you're, you're preaching to the choir with me. I've said it all along. I'm not saying they should play every single game or every single half. Of every single week. I'm saying they need some rhythm. It's like anything else. If you don't do it, think about the last time they played a game. How many months have passed? And so you really don't put them in a situation where they're forced to play more than a series. Uh, and a lot of teams do it. Now, some teams had success today without that. A lot of them did not. It led to sloppiness. I saw a stat where we saw more penalty flags today uh, than any of the last seven years in week one. And you know, to me, that's also part of this. The guys don't get enough reps, and, and they're not in position to, to make plays in the first game. So you may be sacrificing, you know, critical wins early part of the season if you're not up to it. I realize the chance of getting injured. It exists no matter what you do. But at the same time, I think you have to have some rhythm. I don't think Bill Belichick cares. He plays him. Bel Brady agrees, and they seem to always start very well. Let's go to uh, Joey in Salzburg. Hey, Joey, how you doing? Good. How are you, Bob? I'm fine, thanks. Hey, I had a question for you. On that punt play where um, the ball, it looked like it hit the Browns player in the face mask. The Steelers recovered. The Steelers right. had the ball on the Browns 25 and could have gone up by two scores right there. How did the league not see that ball? I was watched that, the replay of that play a couple times, and I right. thought, that ball would either went over the Browns player or it would have changed direction. Well, you it, heard it, Gene Steratore on CBS's coverage. Thank you for the call. And I agreed with you. When I first saw it, I thought for sure. Uh, and you see that happen a lot with special teams uh, players. They're not paying attention where that ball is. Uh, you get, if it hits you, it's a free ball. And I thought it hit Chubb. Uh, to me, it looked like it did. It went to the replay. I guess they didn't have enough conclusive evidence. And if you don't, then you have to go with the call on the field. That's what Steratore said, and I guess that's what they saw or didn't see. But I thought I saw it move a little bit. Um, and that was a critical call as it turned out in this game. Line one we go. John in North Cambria Township. What's up, John? Bob, Tony, how you doing? Good, how are you? Good, hey, two things. Ben, I love him, but he has to, I mean, the preacher to the choir here. He ain't going to do it. He has to throw that ball away. He has to be the leader, you know, for everybody. Mm -hmm. That's what leaders do. You put your team in the best situation. You force the ball three men on one guy, the, the sacks from behind. You're going to take off. You've got to go. This is a big boys league. I think Ben is notoriously like this offense, been slow starting uh, in many years, and then it gets better as the year goes on. But you don't yeah, want to well, put yourself I, into situations where you're two and three, three and two, and struggling because you're not guaranteed of winning every single game after that, although they've done that at times. Yeah, Bob, Bob it's just like golf. You practice golf. You practice on the right things, mm -hmm. and that's the right thing to do, throw the ball away because it ain't about one man. It's a team. I got you. Thanks for the call. Appreciate that. 412-575-2600. Remember, we do this show every night, seven nights a week, right here at 1035. We're due for a break. We'll return right after this.